one year ago, in March of 2020, COVID-19 had just landed in Moscow. People were feeling very nervous in a state close to a shock and panic. I made a prediction that Russian economy would collapse in very few short months and the collapse would be bad. So one year ago, I came to this very spot, to a large shopping center in Moscow, to film the state of current affairs with small businesses, how they were coping with this new threat to their existence. One year later, in early April of 2021, I'm returning to the very same spot, to the very same shopping mall, to see what's going on now and what has changed in one year. So was I right about predicting the collapse? Did it really happen? Or was I wrong and things went back to normal, business as usual? Let's go and find out. Why a shopping mall? Because that's the place where people spend their money. If they have excess of money, they come here and buy things. And if they don't, this place is deserted. And why food court is the heart of every mall? People simply eat. If you're new here, my name is Konstantin and welcome to Letters to King, where living in today's Russia explained by the insider you can trust. And if you're a returning viewer, then thank you so much for coming back. You are great, you are awesome, and you rock. Let's just compare how many people they were in this particular food court back in March 2020, and how many people there are now, right now. See for yourself. How many people are wearing masks? As you see, not too many. But this place is, I would say this is business as usual, pre-coronavirus days. This is not a hugely popular shopping mall, but still it draws good crowds. And there's a good crowd right now. It's not a rush hour, but it's a, it's a pretty much normal busy time. As far as I can remember, as far as I can remember, all businesses are at their places, except for two. And they're being replaced with some other businesses. Krispy Kreme is still here, and I think I'm gonna get a coffee a little bit later today. Last year, I targeted a few ever popular joints and showed how they looked like. One of them was Burger King, Another was KFC. Let's uh, check them out this year. There's a queue at Burger King. Not a big one, but still, there's plenty of people. Other places are not so popular, but I mean, that's what I'm seeing right now. It's totally normal, regular situation. And this is KFC. I would say this is the regular crowd. Friends, check this out. McDonald's is packed. There's a long line at McDonald's just to get inside of the restaurant. I've never seen anything like this here before. There's certainly business. And uh, I would say McDonald's is doing really, really good. The business is booming and they're doing much better than before the pandemic started. Holy cow. Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm really surprised. Um, wow. My question of the day is how your lives have been affected by the coronavirus in one year from March 2020 to March 2021. Have you returned to living a normal life or you, or are you still suffering the consequences of this bad pandemic? I'm going to head down to Mesarub, the butcher, and have a burger. 
This is Merceroub, or in English, the butcher. Last year I came here and I filmed it. It was empty, well, everything was empty last year. What's going on today? Well, the place is still here, that's a uh, big plus. It doesn't have any people. Four tables. Well, it's not bad, you know, considering the time and the day. Good burgers, by the way. That's one juicy burger. This picture tells me a story better than 1,000 words. Look how many burger buns they make. 100 plus? It means they have business. I'll show you what kind of burger I got at this place. My precious. This is one good burger. This is the second food court of the shopping mall. A smaller but expensive one. It's called Gastronomical Market. Supposed to uh, serve gourmet foods. It's more expensive, okay? This place is full. Well, close to full. They have real nice joints here. Mexican, Indian, American burgers. My favorite was street brisket, but they closed. Not because of COVID-19, because they, you know, they didn't meet the market needs. I love their food, by the way. There's some Greek pitas. Nice Italian pizza, but it's packed. How about general stores? Nothing's been changed. Nothing has closed over the year. All stores are still open and they have pretty healthy heavy traffic. That's what I'm seeing right now. And this is what my camera is seeing. This is the general entertainment area of this shopping mall. I would say traffic is a little above average here. And I'm talking about pre-COVID-19 days. This is how the shopping mall looks today. Well, it's not at its fullest, but it's much better than a year ago in March of 2020. The first floor is where all major traffic happens. Okay, I've got a general idea about food court. It's um, about three quarters full. I got a general idea about the burger shop, butcher and McDonald's. But what about, you know, just regular restaurants, sit down places? How are they doing? This is a Georgian restaurant called Trili. Not a budget place. Здрасте. А что у вас тут? Столик бронировать надо? Ну так, людей много вроде бы. Another restaurant that I filmed was Morimania and one year ago it was empty, which was not very unusual. I had seen it many times empty, okay? But now they have customers and they are expensive. They serve in pretty good seafood. Very expensive, actually. A, a way above average in Russia. And look, full of people. Here's another restaurant that I filmed a year ago. It's called George's. Nothing has changed. Place was empty in March 2020. And now, let's peek inside. Uh, not too many people, but there are customers. They are serving tables and they're still in business. Last year, this place belonged to a Korean movie theater company called CGV. They had entered Russian market weeks before the coronavirus pandemic started. They were doing business for a few short weeks and left Russian market 
all together. Right now, a large Russian movie theater network called Karo 8 moved in. Same everything, just different name and different owners or operators. I remember I filmed Cinnabon, one of my favorite places for coffee. I think it's the best coffee in Moscow. One year ago, place was empty. This year, normal. Now, I've seen it all today, and you have seen it all today too. So, last year, was I right about nearing economic collapse, or was I wrong? <sighs> totally wrong, totally. By some kind of miracle, Russian economy is doing the same as it was doing before the pandemic. And I'm seeing with my own eyes, I'm looking at people around me, going out, shopping, buying cars, houses. The demand for apartments and houses for real estate increased by 15%. The prices went up. In Moscow, people are spending as much as they were spending before. I can't really say anything about other Russian provinces, regions, but in Moscow, it's business as usual. Nothing has changed. Despite of two months of complete lockdown, all businesses closed, as an educated economist, I cannot explain how this is possible. Imagine everything was shut down for two months, okay? People did not work, did not create any product, did not add value, but they were getting paid and they weren't fired. And then everything reopened and business went back to normal. Guys, it beats me, it beats me. No one, very few people wearing masks. Coronavirus is among us. I've had it twice already. My family had it twice. And about 30 relatives, close relatives of mine, have had the coronavirus. But you know what? No one's died. No one had it really seriously. And um, it's a bad flu. It's a bad flu that really hasn't disturbed our lives here in Russia by a great deal. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.